There's a gas chamber here, right? She says she doesn't like working in a murder house. You work on the kill floor in there, mate? It's an absolute horror show. The drop floor. So your voice is really important on this side. Yeah, where do the animals come in, mate? Do they come in down the bottom there? I don't know, believe me. Don't know. Don't know. The lorry goes that way and then goes in down the bottom there. Yeah. Pigs, cows and sheep, am I right? I don't know, I just started new. You just started new? Yeah? OK. How long, how long you worked here for? We are not allowed to speak from outside. You're not allowed to speak? OK, mate, no worries. Just wondering whereabouts the animals come in. Because you've got, you got an active gas chamber here, right? You, there's an active gas chamber. Why can't you, why can't you talk to us, mate? Because they're protection. Their protection? What about the protection of the animals? Who's protecting the animals? Yeah, no one's protecting the animals in there. They're scared to talk to us, won't even tell us where the animals come in, because they know what they're doing in this place is wrong. So, uh, They've got silence, they won't tell anyone anything. I'm trying to find a gas chamber. You've got a gas chamber for pigs. Am I right, you cows and sheep here as well? Yeah, I think that's how they do it, mate. Yeah. Contract, You're contracting here. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to find out. All we're trying to do today is like bear witness. You ever, ever probably haven't heard what bear witness is. Uh, like, is it animal rights, is that what you're doing? Yeah, so we're yeah. just like the last moments of their lives. We just come and just basically film them and then oh, like yeah. let everyone know. Because right. these like they're hidden in plain sight, like yeah, no one yeah, knows. I mean, no, I know. No. It's, have you got Amazon Prime? Uh, yeah. So Joey, who we're with over there, he's got a new documentary out. It's called Pignorant. Nice. Um, and if you watch it, he actually was the first person to put 4K cameras inside of these gas chambers. Oh, right. So for the first time, the, um, the the video and the audio from inside the gas chambers have been released on Amazon Prime. Pignorant. Pignorant. Yeah. Yeah. So for the first time, you'll be able to see because like vets come here to like look at these places and look at the animals, yeah. they wouldn't even let the vets see what actually happens inside the CO2 gas chamber. That's how, like, yeah. behind closed doors it was. I've not seen them here. I've no, got them here. Have they got them here? Yeah, there's a yeah. gas chamber here. That's why we're here. We're promoting Pignorin on a tour. Ah, right. and, well, there's a gas chamber here, so um, it's an active gas chamber. So the one in Manchester was a Pilgrim's Pride gas chamber, and that got shut down. Oh, there's a truck coming now. Yeah. I think they might come in there. Yeah, check out Amazon Prime on Pignorant yeah, and you'll see you'll see what we're doing. Yeah. Nice one. Have a good day, guys. All right, so we've got a, a truck coming here of victims. Let's see if they're going to stop. They might not stop. Sometimes they just drive straight past. Are you going to stop the truck for us, mate? It might stop. Are you going to stop? Man, that stinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm good. That stinks. There you go, there's some innocent lives. Innocent lives being taken in to have their heads cut off. That was cows. Is there, is there a way we can get the truck to stop for just like two minutes? For what purpose? Just because we're going to just film. Just I'll to, have to escalate it to my seniors. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. It's just like literally, literally a couple of minutes. You guys ever seen what happens inside these places? So Joey here, right? Have you got Amazon Prime? If you look at Pignorant on Amazon Prime, Joey went in. Inside, inside here, right? There's a live gas chamber. They lower the animals down into CO2 gas. Joey went in and put 4K cameras in. So for the first time in the UK, you can see what happens inside, outside. I'm just gonna go and chat to you now to my boss is on a phone call, so uh -huh. I'll come back. To nice you. one, thank you, mate. Cheers. About 30 seconds for uh, 30 seconds for what, sorry? Film the, film just the, to film the animals with, uh, safely without getting run yeah. over. That that's one word about you guys getting hurt. Yeah, if we could just come up with a system, just two minutes, just nice and safe for everyone. You're obviously Manchester pig safe are sort of in contact with us. Yeah. They attend every month. Yeah. So they're due on the 26th. Right. So we're a bit surprised here. Is it not a problem? Yeah. Uh, no, we're not. We're, we're separate from from yeah, them. No, yeah, that. yeah. 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 That. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe be talked together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fine today if that's what you would like to do. Yeah. So we just—it's literally just a few minutes. Just probably similar to what they do. What we do is the vehicles will normally come here. I normally order the driver. To yeah. Watch, and obviously, 
we normally let the hauliers know in advance. Yes. Because uh, some of them now don't want to stop. They're, yeah. They're a bit concerned about fighting themselves. So I normally speak to them. Yeah. Agree that we'll give a minute. Stop the vehicle just here. Yeah. And you can take the pictures and then because that'd be really helpful. Thank you, mate. Can I ask? Um, the last truck was cows. So today we're we're promoting. Um, no pigs today. There's no pigs today. We don't do pigs. Today. We don't do pigs. Uh, we do pigs here. We do do pigs, but not today. Right. None, none whatsoever. Okay. So is it going to be cows today here? Um, be cattle and lambs. Cattle and la lambs and, and cows. Because there's a gas chamber here, right? Yeah. All right. So they're the dead bodies, lambs. You would have been just murdered. Oh my gosh. This is so messed up. Like, living beings come in here alive. They then get a knife across their throat. And then you see their carcass or their wool just driven along by some man who just chucks it in there in a big warehouse. Done. It's, it's sickening, it's disturbing, it's disgusting. It's an absolute horror show. Don't know what animal parts are in these. Sheep. Oh, sheep. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, They're so afraid. Oh, I'm so sorry. We care, okay? We're doing everything we can. I'm so sorry. It's like the devil killing the angels, it is. They look to you for protection and guidance. Hello, eyes. This is disgusting. I have no words to, to describe how disgusting this is. They're the most beautiful, innocent, innocent beings. These individuals have now gone through those gates to have their throats slashed, or they'll be murdered. Oh, look at her. Can you imagine being inside how scary that would be? And then just get driven away. There's 80 billion individuals every single year being killed being brutally murdered for what, a sandwich? A sandwich that you do not need. If you're against this, then the least you can do is be vegan and then fight, fight for their rights. They need each and every one of us fighting for their rights. Look how many people are here today. Where is everyone? There should be more people fighting for these animals. They need us, we are all they have. So please come out and fight for them. Even if you're afraid, you'll never be more afraid than they are in there. See the driver? The driver gets to go in, and the driver is the only one that gets to come out in that truck. He's the only one. And why? What's the difference between him and those animals? Look, there's one. The dropped one. Look. Innocent baby body on the floor. 
We just saw those little faces go in, looking at us for help. We at, they absolutely betrayed them. Horrific. They're more afraid of people seeing the truth than actually stopping this horrific murder. Absolutely disgusting. There's the, uh, the blue truck there that just went in with all them babies on it. So they would have been driven in and they would have seen on the way in the forklift coming out with the skins of all of their the forklift coming other back. animals. That I've been through already. So when people say animals don't know what happens in these slaughterhouses, when they're driven in, they can see the body parts of their the animals just like them. It makes me feel sick. Innocent lives are inside that truck around people who are about to slit their throat. Did you see them going in? Didn't, do you ever see their little faces as they go in? No. Do you try and turn away? No. What do you think, what do you think about this place? Don't know. Murder house, isn't it? Just for little baby animals. Are you, are you against animal abuse? You're not against it. So you're, you're OK with abuse? You're okay with animal abuse. So if there was a dog here, you wouldn't, wouldn't mind if someone kicked them in the head. Really? Put yourself in their position. See what that van says. Bursting with pride for the fresh food inside. The workers aren't showing pride, though, are they? Are you proud to work in a slaughterhouse? What do you think when you look in the eyes of the victims today? You're not proud? Do you feel shamed? Do you enjoy killing babies too? No, sweetheart. No? Why don't you get another job? She said she doesn't like working in a murder house. They're showing cowardness. They're all like, oh, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Say, are you proud here? They're like, they walk away. No one's proud of slaughterhouses. No one's proud of gas chambers. No one's proud of cutting babies' throats. No one's proud of that. But the unknown public have no idea what goes on inside there because all they see is this. <laughs> What a disgrace. What a disappointment to humanity that we do this to innocent baby animals. Absolute disgrace. The world will look back on this and they'll think we're absolute psychopaths for what we did to animals. Here they are. So they just come through, through that front door and they're just being backed up now. This is the truck earlier with all the sheep that were on. So that truck's now empty. Their bodies have been chopped up. Do you guys work in there? Do you work in there? You work somewhere else? Did you know this is a slaughterhouse? Look at the little innocent victims just gone in there to be killed. Horrible, right? If you're against it, don't pay for the products in the supermarket. Look at them, you've seen... Do you see them? Do you see their little faces when they go in? I guess you don't really probably see them much do if you're inside. No. No different to our dogs and cats, are they? They're just sweet and innocent individuals. Do you, do you ever see the process once they're in? No. 
once I saw actually what happened on the inside, I was like, I can't justify that. The moral baseline is to not do that. One day these places will stop though, won't they? One day they'll stop and they won't continue anymore. You're on a kill floor in there? Hey mate, do you work on a kill floor in there, mate? These are some of the victims gone into the slaughterhouse today. Can't feel proud going in there, right? Maybe you don't work on the kill floor? What? No. How, what do you feel when you see them? How does it make you feel? Do you see those little faces today? Do you see the little faces today? They really don't like to, to look, do they? <laughs> See some of the faces that got in today. Do you work on the kill floor? Are you proud to work in the sort of house? Do you guys work in there? Oh. No. No comment. No. These are the these are the today's victims. Are you not proud of your job? Are you not proud to work in there? No comment. Is that why you turn away? You work in a slaughterhouse. They have to have their throat slashed, but you just turn around when I show them your victims. Get some privacy. What about the animals, though? Can I get some privacy? Do you not care about animals? Do you have a heart? Look, they're your victims. Can I get some Won't even look at your victims in the eyes. Do you work on the kill floor? Maybe you work on the kill floor. Do you not look at them in the eyes when you slit their throat? I mean, you guys can just get another job, right? You don't want to talk about it, it's uncomfortable, right? What about them? How uncomfortable? Pardon? I won't I understand. Would you understand their eyes? Can you look in their eyes? You're speaking English now. What if that was you? You don't have to work in this hellhole, right? You don't have to work in a murder house. No one wants to work in a murder house. You're victims of the day. Get another job, don't hurt animals. Won't even look in the eyes of their own victims. Such cowards. How does it like make you feel emotionally when you like, look at them and you think this is their last few moments, you know? What do you think when you see that? What do you think that? I can't think anything. You can't you're think anything? Just is work it? Here. Just work here. So you can't really sort of say anything to me because you work here and if you say anything, I just work here. then you sort of like, you know, you're putting yourself in the firing line. I just work here. That's all it is. I just work here. Now, how do you feel working here? Do you, do you have to work here? It's a job. It's a job? But it's a job that has like horrific victims involved, right? It's not like a, a normal job, right? Like the average person when they go to work don't take innocent animals and slice their throats open. You know? And these only these places only exist because they're these big machines, they're cogs. Every every person who works in these industries, they're a vital role of that machine working. So if you remove them people, if you if everyone took that responsibility and removed themselves, then these places wouldn't exist. Do you know what I mean? Like, how do you feel being part of that vital cog in that machine? It's paying the bills working. That's it. I understand it's paying the bills, but it's paying the bills off of the backs of some of the most horrific exploitation and murder. You know? We could pay the bills other ways, right? If, if, if a bill was passed tomorrow that animals uh, had rights protecting them, and we was no longer going to exploit them, murder them, and kill them for money and for profit and for taste. You'd have to find a different job anyway, right? So you could, we could find other ways. But for them, the only way for them is to be bred into existence, to be exploited and then murdered for someone to profit off of them. And I think, you know, when we look into, uh, into animals and, and animals like cows and pigs and chickens, we always look at like what's different and use that reasoning to exploit them. But if, if we look at what's similar, you know, we decide not to exploit them pretty quick. This truck here with all these cows that went in, this is that same truck coming out. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Like for me, looking at this, knowing that like this is the bottom run of that truck a minute ago. So looking at that bottom run, seeing all of these animals on here, now seeing the same truck coming out empty, that's quite harrowing to me. Is it to you? Like that's the exact same truck from the, from that side.
you see like for us it's quick right it's like he's come in and out quick when we go to the supermarket and you buy burgers made of these animals it's a quick sensory pleasure it's all quick and fast for us but for them it's their whole existence like they, they have it's the only thing they have and everything is taken from them for something for us that which is quick money's quick we can make money in different ways food's quick we've forgotten about what we ate yesterday we can eat something different but for them this is it that's their whole life their whole existence gone taken for what for money for taste for like a sensory pleasure do you see where i'm going with it do you agree with me or do you not agree with what i'm saying just work here that's all i do i just work here but could you work somewhere else so why why would you choose to work here? But you could work loads of other places. Why would you choose to be part of this system? I think you agree with me personally. I think that you know because you're watching this and you're not really a, you're not opposing me. You're not saying that nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You know you seem like personally or maybe assuming wrong. But I think you're taking a neutral position, which I understand because you've got the like, Morrison's logo on and you're at work. So. I understand where your responses are coming from, but I actually think that you're agreeing with me. But what could we do about it? What could you do about it? Why would you be part of the system if you agree with me? You can work somewhere else is what I'm saying, right? You can change, you can change to be different part, different part of a different system. Perhaps something that's positive, you know, that, that maybe goes towards helping these animals. I've got friends who are ex-slaughtermen and they're now animal rights activists. And they are some of the most powerful voices within the animal rights movement because they've been the other side of that gate and they've sinned and they, they've sinned the other side. So your voice is really important on this side. So, you know, if you're against it, it's something I'd really urge you to, to look at. It's a job, we can work somewhere else. But you can work somewhere that doesn't hurt these, these beautiful animals. You know, we take everything from them because we can. We, we can manoeuvre them, we can exploit them, but it's, it's not moral, it's not ethical. We can make a difference, we can change. You know, this one here, like I can see the similarities between our rescue dogs at home. He does exactly the same, like the way that they look and they, they express their feelings. Exactly the same. Have you got uh, Amazon Prime? Yeah, um, if you go to Amazon Prime, there's a new documentary on there called Pignorant. It's this documentary here. And uh, Joey actually went in to Pilgrim's Pride's gas chamber in Manchester. And he put in 4K cameras on the inside of the gas chamber, the, the CO2 carousel. And it's the first footage to ever be released of UK gas chamber footage. And if you go on to Pignorant, you can see like how he did it, what he done, and the first footage from inside. Because even, I know even people that work in these slaughterhouses aren't allowed to look inside, you, you can't see inside. It's the first expose on it. Um, and you'll see how much pain and fear and suffering them pigs are in as they're being dropped down. They even rip their limbs off through the carousel bars, trying to like fight out. CO2 gas is such an aversive gas it causes acid in their eyes and lungs, so they're burning from the inside out. It's really horrific. But if you go to Amazon Prime and watch Pignorant, you see a bit more of an insight of actually what happens. I don't even know if you see what happens in there. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But um, if you watch Pignorant, you'll see, and it may also then encourage you to remove yourself from this system. Okay. All right, mate. That's really Thank you for talking to me today. I appreciate you chatting, mate. Right. Honestly, I do appreciate it because I know you're in a difficult position. So, um, yeah, I appreciate it. Horrific murder. Shutting the doors of hell. <laughs>